What's going on guys and welcome to Somewhere in SoCal. My name is Mike Devlak and on this channel I show you guys what it's like to live somewhere in SoCal. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. I went out yesterday to try and film videos and surprisingly the builders don't want us filming videos at some of these places. Not up in here! So I'm trying to provide value to you guys. They said, nope, we can't do this. All right, and I tell you guys time and time again, the builders do not work for you. All right, they don't want me sharing my opinions on what I think is a good room, a bad room, big, small, all that stuff with you guys. So luckily I'm very thankful for the builders that do let us film, all right? But that kind of threw a wrench in our plans. I'm actually having surgery in a couple hours, so I don't have time to go out and film today. I'm gonna be down for a couple of days, but I wanted to get a video out this week. So uh, today what we're doing instead is I am gonna give you guys my seven best floor plans of new builds that I've toured uh, recently, all right, that are in the $500,000 range. All right, so we're gonna kind of just put a compilation together of my favorite floor plans. All right, we got from various cities. We got uh, Winchester, Menifee, uh, Paris, Hemet, all over the place. So, all right, we're gonna dive in. We're gonna look at these seven floor plans, all right, that I like, like I said, all under 600,000, most of them really under 550,000. So very affordable uh, floor plans for people who are looking to move out here from LA, Orange County, San Diego, Vegas, San Francisco, wherever you're looking to move from, there's a floor plan for you at an affordable price, all right? And all these places, are gonna be around good schools. There's, you know, medical centers, uh, you know, close by for the most part. I got a cat walking around my backyard right now, it's not mine. <laughs> You've got tons of shopping. You no, know, the, the main one that's gonna be close to all these is the shopping center in Menifee uh, on Newport and Holland. There's a giant shopping center there with everything you need, all right? You're also really close to the, relatively speaking, to the mall down in Temecula, Temecula Promenade, where there's movie theaters, bowling, food court, like traditional, the mall that you think of when you think of a mall. And then just outdoor living. You know, you got all the lakes around here. You got Par Lake Paris, Lake Skinner. We've got Diamond Valley Lake, Lake Elsinore, obviously. So lots of outdoor life with hiking and that sort of things. And you're still close to San Diego, Palm Springs, driving into Disneyland. If you have to go down to work in Irvine or something. So lots of options here with the list we're about to go over. So this list is in, you know, really no particular order. All right, we're just gonna go through these. I've kind of revamped the prices. So if you hear me talk about prices in the video, all right, I just went through right now and just kind of rechecked some of the prices. Some of them have changed a little bit. So the price that I'm giving you here is the price that it is today. Anyways, let's go ahead and dive into these houses. All right, guys, the first house that we're gonna check out revisit all right is gonna be at luminary at outlook all right it is a 1941 uh, square foot house three to four bedrooms two to three baths depending on what options you choose with a den and this one starts at five hundred and twenty five thousand dollars and this one is in one of the hottest communities right now in the city of winchester all right guys so next up we are outside of plan three which is called holly this one is 1,941 square feet. This is actually gonna be a really cool, you know, one level floor plan. So we're gonna have three to four baths, or sorry, three to four bedrooms, plus a den option, two to three baths, a powder room, covered patio. Let's go see it. All right, so as we walk in here, pretty grand entrance. You got a really long hallway, going straight back to the great room there. I like the art they have here, but let's turn to the right. Front here, we're gonna have bedroom number one here. The front of the house, big closet space. Oh, I just almost broke a painting. <laughs> yeah, you got the bathroom downstairs, a full bathroom off of that bedroom there. I like the color tones that they got in this one. Cool little entryway, like in that. All right, so before we get to the whole great room back there, we've got, this is what would be considered that den that we mentioned as we walked in here. They got it set up as a workout room here. All right, this could also be maybe set up as like formal dining area, it could be home office. You do have these, you'll see these glass doors. All right, could be a kid's playroom, man cave, whatever. All right, there's lots of flexibility and versatility with this room, so wherever your mind takes you. Now, this is one of my favorite parts of this model is they've got this little storage area. If you look at the floor plan, it says storage area. They got this set up as like a home office, I think. I think this is really cool. Um, there's, a, you know, once again, a bunch of different options you have here, but all right, I'm gonna show you guys in a second right here. There's the option for that to be a bathroom actually. So um, we got our second bedroom right here. All right, just, you know, normal size bedroom, normal size bedroom, all right? But 
you have the option to take that storage away and make it a full bathroom. All right, so it could almost be like a second, secondary suite kind of thing with a you know, walk-in bathroom uh, and the closet and all that stuff. So that's something to think about. But I really do like that office area. Just what they call it a storage area. All right, off there, you've got our laundry area. Lots of cabinets, uh, countertop space. All right, you got this built-in cabinet right here. You have a storage closet right there. I'm gonna open it up two doors. All right, the storage closet right there. All right, now let's go back and see just how great this great room is. <laughs> All right, so you see everything else, a little pan for you guys. All right, so you got the kitchen off here to the left. On your fridge, lots of counter space. I'm digging this like copper goldish furnishings on the uh, cabinets. Oh, they got my Keurig set up, little coffee spot. That is, yep, I agree. That's where I would put it. <laughs> all right, there we go. You got all the appliances, you got the big sink, pretty big island. All right, you can always judge the size of these just by how many bar stools they put there. All right, so, you know, pretty good size island. That would basically be like, you know, good center point for the rest of the house here if you had you were entertaining or something. All right, we'll go here to the pantry. A pretty good corner pantry here. Yeah. Lots of space, good floor space too. Pretty tall as well. All right, you got the dining setup right here. I'm really, like I said earlier, just digging the tones and the setup here. Up in here. Living room. All right, we're gonna have the master bedroom back there, but I'm gonna go out and show you guys outside first. You got a little, you got a little glimpse of the master. <laughs> Love that accent. All right, anyways, all right. So you got the covered patio, like I mentioned. All right. Now that's if you're not from this area, that's huge. All right. You know the weather gets pretty hot here in the summertime, so having covered patio, I've seen people put fans on those. So really cool setup here. I like the uh, fence for the dog as well. Got the dog. Right, really cool. Just inspiration for the backyard. I like that outdoor dining setup as well. All right, but let's go see the master. Oh, I'm gonna point this out. When we were here with my wife the other day, she pointed this out. It's kind of cool. Like it's, you know, obviously it's like a horse, but it's kind of like, I don't know what the right art term is, but it's kind of subtle there <laughs> to where you don't necessarily know it's a horse until you like go and look really closely. All right, so walk into the master and boom, I love that accent wall. You'll see the accent wall up there matches. Hold on real quick. Ooh, it ties in really cool. I'm just, that's what I gotta show you guys right now before I forget. It ties in with the ceiling as you enter. I'm not sure if you guys noticed that when I entered. All right, but the ceiling there matches the accent wall behind the bedroom, which I thought was super cool. All right, so back to the room. All right, so decent size master bedroom for a home that's under 2,000 square feet. All right, you obviously have a door there. They don't do doors on some of these in the uh, models. Walk over here. All right, you got the dual sinks. I'm liking the black countertop. I like the out that trim on the shower too. All right, so lots of space in here. We're gonna have our throne area. I like it when they don't have a lot of wasted space. That's, that's, <laughs> that's a good amount of space to do your business. All right, we got, ooh, this is a pretty deep closet. So good closet space in there. And then we'll actually go into the real closet. Walk-in closet right here. All right, this might be, I don't know, just depends how many clothes you have, I guess. All right, but the cool thing is, if that's not enough space for you, whoops, you do have that too, so just something to think about. All right, so that wraps up our Holly floor plan. All right, like I said, it was $525,000. We got what, 1941, whoop, 1941 on the square footage. All right, we saw the three to four bedrooms or the den. All right, so this is either bedroom four or they call this the den. You can set up however you want. And then this, you got this really cool office storage area that you could also turn into a, um, you can turn that one bedroom into like an extra ensuite type thing. So really cool floor plan. Let's go see the next one. All right, next up, we're gonna check out this house in Rockport Ranch, which is a gated community in the city of Menifee. All right, this house right here is gonna be 2,207 square feet, four beds, three baths with a loft. Like I said, it is in a gated community that's gonna have two private lakes inside the gates. Really cool spot. Uh, <laughs> it's one of the best spots right now in Menifee to buy a house. So let's check it out. 
Alrighty, so if that one over there didn't have the space that you needed, we've now got Residence 3 right here. This one is $538,000. We four beds, three baths coming in at 2,207 square feet. Come up here. Ooh, I like this like light blue accent wall thing. Loving the R, digging, digging it. All right, so right off the left here, we're gonna have our storage closet. Oh, do we have a movie theater? We might have one. We got one. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> if, you, if you're brand new to the channel, you don't know what I'm talking about, I apologize. Uh, those of you who get it, you get it. Uh, my kids always call those things the movie theaters. My brother-in-law had a house like this in uh, Huntington Beach, and they used to go under the stairs and do movie theaters and all that stuff, so I call it the movie theater. Anyways, back to our tour. We'll walk in here to our living area downstairs, a great room. All right, you immediately got the kitchen right here. It's a pretty good size island. All right, we'll go back to the kitchen in a second, but then you got the living room area right there. Real cozy looking right there. I mean, <laughs> it's a rainy day today. I kind of just want to sit there with a bowl of popcorn and watch Netflix or something. All right, you got a little spot dining area there. All right, there's some more living area back there, but let's go here and stay in the kitchen. All right, so you've got pretty good sized island there. A nice big sink. All right, I'm sure you get a backsplash and all that stuff. So lots of cabinet space. All right, I'm digging that back, that backsplash. All right, and then this is the pantry right here. All right, so just guys get a feel for what the pantry is on this house. All right, I'll show you guys the backyard on this one. Don't judge the skies. It's normally really good weather here, but we got a little bit of a storm. It rained for like 20 minutes. All right, but decent sized backyard. All right, I'll be completely honest. When I rolled up to these three that we're looking at today, I thought the backyards would be smaller because to me, they kind of have like a, I don't know, almost like a townhome feel from the front. Cause there's not, you know, there wasn't a long driveway here for these models. I don't know if inside the community, if they will have a longer driveway, but I was expecting kind of smaller, smaller backyards. and. You know, there's average size backyards. Right, let's go in and check out the back part of the house here. All right, so that's to the garage. That's a really nice bathroom downstairs. All right, really cool setup here. We flow into our first bedroom. Really good sized bedroom. This feels big. I don't know if you guys can feel it on the camera. Right, normal, not normal, but normal closet, but big, nice big bedroom. Let's go ahead upstairs. Ooh, so it's four bedrooms and a loft. Didn't see that one coming. All right, so you got a nice little extra living area here. In the loft will be a playroom. Could be a little man cave. Could just be set up as this right here with like you're almost almost like a private movie-ish area. All right, let's go over here to the right. All right, one of my favorite things about this particular floor plan. Oh, the lights aren't even turning on. All right, is you got this big bedroom here, but you're gonna see in a second, we got Jack and Jill bathroom here. So our bedroom here. All right, we're gonna walk into this bathroom, all right, which has got a sink and all that stuff here, but then you got a, you're gonna have a door here to separate. You got your shower tub combo, your toilet, and then boom, we're into the next bedroom. All right. So another bedroom right here, a normal size closet. Nice little surfing beachy theme there. It was almost like Hawaiian theme with ukuleles. All right, you got your laundry room right here. Lots of space here. All right, so you got huge amount of shelves and you got a linen closet right there. I'm low key, <laughs> a little bit disoriented. So we had one, two, one bedroom downstairs, the two right here, the loft, and then the master. All right, we walk into the master here. Whoa, this is big, super big room. I like the chandelier hanging there. I'm liking the accent wall behind the headboard there. Really cool setup here. That's where my TV goes. Plants, man, this is a cool little vibe. Ooh, this is nice too. I don't know what you would call this area. That's a pretty cool setup. I'm gonna walk into the master bathroom. To the left, we got our throne area, do your business. You might be watching me there. <laughs> All right, uh, or hopefully you're watching me on TV. 
in your living room or your bedroom. All right, you got your uh, shower tub combo right there. Two sinks, got a nice little, I'll show you guys the backsplash little sinks there. All right, and then we'll head into the closet. Pretty good size walk-in closet. Here's one more time, spin test, boom. All right, really, really good sized closet. So this is a really, really good option. Really good option for, sorry, uh, for 538K, four beds, three baths, a little over 2,200 square feet. Uh, and then you got this loft area right here too. So, all right guys, so third on the list, we have a house at Lilac at Country View by KB Homes in the city of Homeland. Uh, this one is 1,858 square feet, three to four bedrooms, two and a half uh, bathrooms with a loft. And this one starts at $510,000. This one is 1,858 square feet. We got three to four beds, two and a half baths, uh, option for a loft. All right, so that usually means that's where the fourth bedroom is. It's either gonna be three bedrooms and a loft or four bedrooms, no loft, your call. I love the loft, so if you can deal with the three bedrooms, I would do that. All right, and this one is starting at 506,000. All right, so we got this nice real quick. I'll show you guys this landscaping. All right, some people get tripped out when they move out here. Like this is how a lot of the landscaping is in some of these areas, especially these new builds. All right. There's very low maintenance on the yards. They got those drip sprinkler systems. You don't have to mow grass or anything like that. You got these things trimmed like once or twice a year. Anyways, I right, walk up here real quick. I'm sorry, guys. I'm gonna show you one more thing. <laughs> Check out these views before heading into the house. All right. I know there's gonna be a house there across the way eventually, but whoever lives in, in those lots right there that are gonna be built is gonna have an amazing view of the valley down there. All right, and the sun sets that direction too. It's gonna be sweet. All right. Back to our tour. All right, so like I said, this one is plan 1858. Boom, there we go. I like how this feels as we walk in. Nice little seating area, or mud, I guess you call it a mud area in some parts of the country. And right, that's a half bathroom right off the entry. A half bath, stairs to go up. Make sure you guys a little glimpse of the living area before we Check out this closet, a little storage closet we walk into. And we walk in here and just opens up. All right, so you got the living room right there. Dining spot. And then you got this kitchen. With, I'm not gonna call it an L-shaped counter, but lots of counter space here. All right, so no island like some of the other, you know, builds that we see. All right, but this is still like a, I don't know, I feel like it's pretty cool for like parties and stuff. Like, I don't know, like just, you can still like, it still has an island feel, but you're in the kitchen. It's, I don't know, I, I think it's pretty sweet. So um, I could really see myself here, just <laughs> chips and dip right here, eat, you know, guacamole, salsa, all that good stuff right here, you know, with family and friends in this kitchen. So I like this setup, despite it being a little, little different than most of the new builds we see. So lots and lots of counter space. You got tons of cabinets as well. Got your appliances. I always point out where my Keurig would go. My coffee shop right there. And you got a pantry right there. And then we got, the garage is usually locked, but yeah, garage is right there off the kitchen. And before we head upstairs, let me go ahead and show you guys the backyard on this one, just for some more inspiration. You guys see what it's all about. All right, let's head upstairs so you guys where you're gonna sleep. The rails. All right, so to the left here, we're gonna have our loft area. Now remember, this could be a fourth bedroom from what they said. I personally am a huge fan of the loft. Maybe it's a man cave, kids play area, whatever. Oh, that's a cool idea. Bring them the kids art from school. That's pretty dope. All right, so pretty nice little area. I'm out of shape. Hopefully my microphone doesn't catch, catch me breathing while I walk up this. All right, well, there's stuff. I think it says, uh, hmm, play all day, maybe? I don't know. All right, so off the top of the stairs, you've got oh, the laundry room right here. That's a decent space there. I'm gonna have a little linen closet. All right, then we got bedroom number one. 
a little doggy setup here. That's cool wallpaper. That's pretty cool. All right, so really good size room here. Closet is probably a little bit, maybe on the smaller side, but I do like this little like ledge reading that area. I mean, like a little padded thing there, sit and read and look out the window at those freaking amazing views. All right, let's head on into the bathroom here. It's the bathroom upstairs, the first, I guess, full bathroom. You got one sink, shower tub combo, toilet, just pretty standard bathroom. All right, head into bedroom two. All right, this one's the one that's set up as a nursery. All right, these kind of trip me out because this, I mean, this feels kind of small, but it's probably an optical illusion because of the size of the crib. All right, but that's a massive closet for a secondary bedroom. You know, it's not like an actual walk-in. Like, you got pretty good length here. Like, we're probably spreading my arms here. Like, I don't know, it's probably like not eight or nine feet long. It's pretty deep. You got some like, floor space in there, too. It's not like you just butted up against, you know, like can hang stuff. All right, cool. Cool little setup there. All right, as we head toward the master, we got another closet. Four, and then heading to the master. This thing is wide, super wide. You get the entrance to the master bathroom over there, right? But very big, cozy feel here in this, the way they have this thing set up. And this bed, this bed's pretty big too. So lots and lots of space on the side. Walk in. Ooh, liking that floor a little bit. All right, so you got the two sinks, big mirror. Oh, it's a lot of storage space there. You have the stand-up shower. You're gonna have a little throne room right here. And then a, wow, pretty good sized walk-in closet, all right? <laughs> I think I can actually do the spin test in this one. Yep, uh, a little bit on the corner, there's a little weird shape to it, but there's tons of space in here. All right, recap this one. So this is our second model. Whoop. All right, we've got, 1858 square feet we have the three or four bedrooms like if you want that to be a bedroom instead of loft totally on you but i really love these lofts all right and this one starts at five hundred and six thousand bucks so we're staying in the community of lilac at country view for house number four this one is 2613 square feet four to five bedrooms uh two and a half to three and a half baths plus a loft this one is starting at five hundred and sixty seven thousand dollars all right, this one is 2,613 square feet, starting at $553,000. We got four to five bedrooms, two and a half to three and a half baths, depending how you get things set up. Yeah, so let's go ahead and check this baby out. All right, so just like the house that we saw a second ago, this kind of comes out, not a lot of front yard space, but you got a pretty deep footprint for the house there. You got kind of a smaller porch as we walk up here. Off to the left here, you're gonna have the garage access right there. And you got half bathroom at the front of the house. Guys, that's, those are amazing, especially off the garage. Like, I don't know about, I don't know about you guys. Have you guys ever been driving and then like you go get groceries or anywhere with your kids and they just have to go to the bathroom and they can't hold it? Well, guess what? Now they can just run in either from the front door or through the garage, boom, half bath, do their business and get about their day. <laughs> I like that. Anyways, all right, let's go back to the tour. All right, so we got the stairs there. Gonna go into that living area in a sec. But first, <laughs> we got like a walk-in storage closet under the stairs. That is unique. Oh, kids, kids movie theater, there we go. We got one. I think that, I think that was the first one today where we had that kids movie theater. If you watch my videos, you know what I'm talking about. Anyways, all right, so we walk in here, we've got Really cool, like I'm, I'm digging the living areas here. This is, just flows so nicely. All right, so we got the kitchen. Ooh, I like this black back, that's a tongue twister. Black back <laughs> backsplash thing. All right, cool, we got lots of cabinet space, counters, huge island. And bar stools underneath there. I'm liking those little chandelier thingies too. Nice sink as well. This is, they did this one good. All right, there's my coffee station. All right, we got 
cabinet, or not cabinet, pantry. It's got a little dining area right there. And it's just the way this is set up. You know, again, you can just be sitting here chilling, eating at the island, watching TV. Really cool setup. And then whoever's cooking, right? They got TV access, they got backyard access right here. They can check things out. Let's go check this backyard out. All these backyards that they've got look very similar. All right, but just for inspiration. There you go, there you have it. I did see a bedroom, it looked like, around the corner over here, so. You got the door to separate, the little bedroom area from this. And this is like a secondary little side suite thing. This is cool. Really cool setup, all right? It feels skinny and narrow, right? But it's got a nice little setup to it, and then you got like a little area for like a workstation there. This is kind of like a good spot for like a, I don't know, a uh, teenager or something, or maybe, I don't know. This, this could actually be a really good office too. Like for me, like, right, I do, I shoot lots of content and videos. I work from home. Like this would be a sick office for me because I've got like a desk area. I can set this up as like a studio or any, like, I don't know. Hopefully you guys can see the vision that I've got for this thing. And then you also got, right. You've also got like a bathroom in here. This is like a really cool home office type thing. You got cabinets there. It's very homey. Like this is a really good home office situation. If you ask me or bedroom, whatever you want. Oh, there we go. This is what we got here. This is how it could be versus how it is. Anyways, yeah. Pause it here if you want to read that. All right, but let's go ahead and head upstairs. We got a nice loft up here. Ooh, I'm liking that entertainment center thing. You guys will see it right now. Very cool setup here for the loft. See, and some of the other ones we saw were kind of like secluded lofts, they're kind of tucked away. This is like the center of upstairs, it's almost like a second living room. All right, as we come up here, boom, it's just like a really cool. All right, off to the right of the stairs, we're gonna have a giant laundry room. Pretty cool. Let's go see what this little closet leads to. Cool. I'm gonna save the master for last. We got the bathroom up here. Two sinks, bathroom, our toilet is, shower the combo. And across here, we're gonna have what we're gonna call bedroom two. We'll set up here. This one feels pretty, pretty standard, maybe a tad bigger than a standard size bedroom. And we've got kind of a little walk-in closet. Lots of space. Oh, closet with a window. Make sure that thing's closed if we're <laughs> changing the closet. <clears throat> All right, so we got bedroom two is across the way. Pretty standard size bedroom. I like those curtains. I like the, uh, what's it called? Is that called an ombre or a gradient? I don't know. I'm trying to use, <laughs> I think ombre is like a hair term. My sister's a hairstylist, so hopefully I use that right. But I know in like the graphic design world, it's like a gradient. Anyways, all right, closet there. Ooh, a baseball room. All righty, you guys know me, I'm a baseball dude. Baseball is the family business. All right, so we got, I don't know why I'm showing you the bats, <laughs> like you care. All right, here we go. So we got the bedroom, uh, really good, really wide, honestly. So pretty good sized bedroom here. All right, we got the closet. We get you guys out of, out of the baseball stuff. Because you definitely don't care the same way I do. Anyways, all right, so we got the master. All right, walking. Oh my gosh, this is big. This almost feels like a hotel room. Like, you know, the hotel room where you have a couch, a little couch area in there. It's kind of feels big like that. Little seating area they got next to the bed. So lots of space. Oops, bumped it. Lots of space in here. I'm liking the windows on each side of the bed. And then you got a, what looks like a really big master bathroom. All right, so you got the two sinks, you got the tub, you got a shower, you got the throne area with the privacy door. There we go. And then you've got this walk-in closet. Super big closet. I'm gonna go to the other end of this. That's far away. So you got yeah, his side and her side. I'm gonna guess this is the, his side because there's less uh, hanging space over here. 
right? Oh, once again, you got a closet with a mirror, or a mirror, a window. All right. Anyway, so that was our final house that we're touring of this one. Uh, just to recap, we've got 2,613 square feet, four to five bedrooms, depending what you want to do with things, all right? Then we got uh, starting at $553,000. All right, next on the list, we're heading to McSweeney Farms, one of the hidden gems of the Inland Empire. I really love this community. We filmed it last week. They got a really cool clubhouse, cool, lots of different amenities, uh, and there's lots of growth happening in this area, kind of where it borders uh, Winchester and kind of flows into Menifee and stuff like that. So really close to shopping as well. All right, this house right here is $550,000, 2,660 square feet, four beds, three <laughs> four beds, three baths, and a loft. Let's check it out incredibly long video but hopefully valuable all right we are outside of this house right here this one is 2660 square feet we're gonna have four bedrooms three bathrooms and we're gonna have a loft so let's get to it i like this entry with these stairs coming up just whoop really probably my favorite entrance entryway so far entrance to the house the art you got the mirrors slash art they got like a vintage like thing to them all right, we turn off to the right over here. We're gonna have bedroom number one. Wow, this is a huge guest bedroom. <laughs> that, that bed looks, I don't know, maybe it's just the, uh, the headboard, but it looks tiny, but this room is huge. Really big bedroom. I mean, if you don't, if you don't need this as a bedroom, this would be a great spot for a home office. Yeah, I, use, I use my guest room as a home office at home, so <clears throat> that's kind of where my mind goes here, but. Anyways, you do have a bathroom right off the entrance here. So this is bathroom number one. Lots of space in here too. Oh, that's a unique shape to it. All right, but you've got just the stand-up shower there. You're gonna have a storage closet right there. All right, then we walk all the way into the great room. You got our kitchen, dining area. Living room flows really nicely, but let's head off to this kitchen first. So we do have our little coffee area right there. Really loving the backsplash back there and the countertops. Really cool. A nice big island. Those cabinets. I can't tell they're black or really dark brown, but they look nice. Right, we've got our pantry right here. Have your dining area there. I really like those big painting pieces of art things there. It adds a lot to the room. All right. You gotta do something there because that is just a big wall. So you gotta furniture there, artwork, something. Right. They do have the uh, fireplace there, the upgrade. Looks really cool, that mantle and everything. Big window going out to the backyard. Or speaking of backyard, let's go see it. <clears throat> So once again, we got that covered patio, another built-in barbecue. I hope, I hope these houses actually come with a built-in barbecue. <laughs> I feel like all, every single model has it. They got to do it. Almost looks like a putting green right there. It's a weird, I guess not a weird shape, but I guess you could do weddings in the corner on this model. <laughs> yeah, this is like a really big backyard and the sun is starting to peek through. You guys can see just how beautiful it is out here. Really cool, I like it. I like it, a little zen action. I don't know if I showed you guys that fire pit area, but there you go. Head on back in, and let's head upstairs. I always like when these are not just like the wall. <laughs> Maybe it's just being picky, but. Head upstairs. Um, no, also the landing here. I know some people like to have the landing versus just the stairs going straight up. Get up here. And we got a giant loft area. Really big second living room, man cave, game room, playroom for kids, however you want to do it. This is a ton of space up here. All right, before we head to the master, we'll head down this hallway. We got bedroom two right here. Oh, this is cute. Guys, this. The house, the house is in this room. Jesus, man. The rooms in this house are huge. Not on my A game today, but you get the real me. Better than the fake me, I guess. 
Then we got bedroom. It's bedroom three. Holy cow. Once again, huge room. I like these little cutout things too. I almost want, you might want to build, I don't know. My daughter likes to read, so I'd probably build like a reading nook type thing there. It's kind of cool. Anyways, huge room. All right, you got the laundry room at the end of the hallway here. You do have that sink in there. The cabinets up there, and you got some shelving over here. Very functional laundry room. All right, then across the way here, you're gonna have the bathroom. I believe this is bathroom too. You've got two sinks, shower tub combo. Toilet. Lots of space in here. Pretty cool. All right, let's go check out that master. So there's the loft, and then boom, we got the master. <laughs> and it didn't disappoint. I was expecting a really big master compared to the other rooms, and this one is also a really big room. All right, so just see how big that bed is, see how big those dressers are, and then just how much space they've got on the sides over here. So really big room, love it. Nice window right there, letting some natural light in. Really cool setup here. Flow right into the bathroom. Master bathroom, oh, I like that floor. All right, you got the master bathroom here. We're gonna have our throne area right there. You do have a window out there. <laughs> Take your morning, morning whiz look outside, I don't know. All right, you got the two sinks. Ooh, I like that. I like the way the black and the white, that just pops really nicely. Right, I, I am a fan of actually having the, you know, the, the shower and then the bathtub next to it in the master um, bedrooms or bathrooms. But this, if you're just gonna have a shower, this is a nice one to have. Really nice. And then, wow. A really big walk-in closet. This reminds me of that, that Will Smith meme where like everyone moves out of the house and they just stand in the living room. And they'll do my spin test for you. I'm not even coming close to touching anything. I'm right in the center. Uh, really, really big walk-in closet. So if you have a lot of stuff to go in the closet, this is a good one for you. So anyways, just to recap this one, all right, this one right here was 2,660 square feet. You got four beds, three baths, plus this loft. All right, and we're right around $550,000. Guys, this is crazy. All right, these same floor plans, like I said earlier, a few miles away are going for three or $400,000 more. And this community is, is one of the best communities. All right, with all the H stuff the HOA includes, like if you can deal with being a little bit away from shopping, this is a great spot. House number six on this list is gonna be in the city of Winchester at Pradera Point. This house is 2,300, 2,300, 2,384 square feet. You got five bedrooms plus a loft and three bathrooms. Really big spacious floor plan at, at $552,000. Let's check it out. All righty guys, so this next one is 2,384 on the square footage. We got five bedrooms plus a loft, three bathrooms. Got a two car garage. And this house is starting at 552,000. Uh, right now, this one's set up as the model. So obviously this spot right here is gonna be where the garage is. They're gonna get neighbors next there. Uh, but let's go ahead and take a peek here as we walk in. In a nice little porch area out front where you can sit. So you notice the, obviously the accent walls are an upgrade. Got the stairs right here on the right as we come in. Nice little, like they did there with the, uh, the mirror, little entry table. We'll start downstairs. Walk in here. Got a nice little storage, you know, closet coat right there. Flows right into the living area. Got everything right here. L-shaped couch. Nice little dining setup. Now you can have the island. In your kitchen area it leads out to the back. The backyards on all these are gonna be on the smaller side. All right, some of these homes, as I said before, they're single family homes, but they're have more of like a townhome feel because there's not much yard space. Right, but you do have you know a nice little spot here to entertain with the island and your appliances. Come here, check out the pantry. All right, so this is gonna be the sales office right there, which is gonna be the garage entrance. So we got a, a bathroom right here. And then we got our first bedroom, downstairs bedroom right here. The closet. You know, like I said, this one's, you know, just under 2,400 square feet. The downstairs area feels a little bit on the small side. You know, I'm thinking this upstairs is gonna, it's gonna be feel pretty big. So uh, as I'm coming up right here, 
and you also see the loft. They got it set up pretty nicely here. So nice little second living area or loft. Tons of space here. So could be a little kid's play area. Could be the man cave. Could even set up like an office area out here. Uh, we'll start with the bedrooms. We got bedroom number two. As we walk in here, this one feels kind of short but wide, if that makes sense. That's a fake brick. Right, you got. There's not a. That's got to be a mistake, I think. There should be. <laughs> there should be like something to hang something there. All right, you got space there. All right, you're gonna have two sinks here in this upstairs bathroom. The cool thing here is you're gonna have this door for privacy here. So if you guys have kids or something, you're getting ready for school in the morning, obviously someone can do their shower, go to the bathroom, you got the two sinks. So that's nice there. At the, across from that, we're gonna have the laundry area. Always nice having the laundry upstairs with the majority of the bedrooms. All right, this is gonna be the third bedroom that we saw. With the, right here. We're out looking to the front of the house. Closets there. All right, so bedroom four. This feels like more your traditional size bedroom versus that one with the brick wall. And that one right there. All right, and then we'll head into the master right now. Um, always, you know, these masters are exciting to look at. So uh, as we walk in, really big master. I like the uh, lighting here with the accent wall there. It's a pretty good sized master. Lots of space at the foot of the bed. And you got a little area that's probably ready for the TV. We can put it in the corner here. All right. And walk into the bathroom. All right. You got the little throne area there. So I, I always think this is empty space. You can put whatever you want there, really, but I don't know. I would put it like do the bathtub thing. Um, but these are express homes, so they are what they are what you see. All right. You got the two sinks here. I suppose you could put a vanity in this spot. Uh, but you do have the walk-in closet. As always, I'm gonna go in here and spin just to show you. 5'11", 225, spinning in circles in the closet. Um, anyways, yeah, so this right here, like I said, um, just under 2,400 square feet, and this one is priced at $552,000. Really, really good, you know, base price so out of all the you know the homes that we've seen here today right this is going to be the most expensive model right you get the five bedrooms three baths and we're still under five hundred and sixty thousand dollars so really good deal all right our seventh and final house on the list is in the city of paris at green valley ranch which is a i think it's one of the next big up and coming master plan communities got tons of builders in there all right um, Richmond American happens to be one of the first ones there. They got some other builders. So, uh, right here, we are going to have a one story floor plan. It's 2,080 square feet. You've got three bedrooms plus a flex room, which could be a fourth bedroom. You got two baths, and this one starts at $567,000. All right. So, the next model right here, we got another one story, 2,080 square feet. This is going to be a three bedroom plus a flex room. I will see that. And then we get this like an office or a fourth bedroom. All right, you're gonna have two bathrooms, two car garage, and this one comes in at $567,000. So as we walk up here, you'll see not really that much of a porch area per se, but I kind of like the way they got this driveway set up. I don't know if this is gonna be the way it comes on all of these models, but I do like the driveway space. Um, you know, if you have multiple cars on here, or put a basketball hoop, something. But let's go in and see what we got here. Nice long hallway right as we enter right here uh, you are gonna have some stuff off to the right right here so first bedroom right as we walk in front closet normal size bedroom feels nice and you got that bathroom right here in between the two bathroom right there we've got our second bedroom normal size bedrooms here a good feel for the layout. You got two rooms up front, could have kids up front. You could have that front room maybe as an office. All right, uh, here's the bonus room to talk about. So the, uh, real quick, sorry. This is gonna go to the garage. I can enter from the garage right there, but this is that bonus room they talked about. This could be you know, a study, an office. You could probably even close it up and make it into a bedroom. Um, but I always like an area to work. There, another little 
area there. What do we got here? Got a storage closet. And then we got our laundry room. We got the two bedrooms and the study up front. Laundry room and the bathroom. And then we walk into, wow, this feels massive, guys. I don't know if it does justice on the camera, but this feels like, like a huge living space. All right, so we got our kitchen here. Our appliances, a giant island with the bar stool. Things there. I mean, this. I don't even know if <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if this camera is going to do it justice, but this is a ton of space. We have the dining area right there. You're going to have your living room TV set up right there. Let me go and check the pantry. All right, so you got your storage for the pantry right there. Let's go. Quick little glimpse of the backyard before we head into the master on this one. Yeah, the, these guys are creative with their, some of these model homes don't let you go in the backyard. These guys do, and I can see why, because this is pretty cool. This is a huge backyard, huge yard out here. I doubt all the lots are this big, but just to give you guys some backyard inspo. Head on in. All right, so now on to the master. Once again, in the back of the house, kind of right off that living room, you walk in and this, this feels much bigger than that first auto home. Really big master. I always tell you, that's where my TV goes, right there. Instead of that mirror, I got a TV there. Ooh, really cool. You guys can see that the barn door, oops. We got the barn, <laughs> I screwed it up. We got the barn door right there to give us that privacy. Uh, between, my wife wants to add one of the R's because we have a similar setup here. But you got the, uh, the dual sinks. You're gonna have the throne area there. There's probably a little, yes, the towel closet type thing. You've got your shower and then a huge walk-in closet. I'm gonna do, do my spin test like I always do, but this guys, this is, yeah, we, we got tons of space in here, so, and lots of storage, so. Um, once again, this one seems, I mean, this is, if you're looking for a one story with a good layout, this is, you know, we're over 2,000 square feet, one story, and we're at 567,000. I don't know that this can be, can be beat for, uh, you know, that price. Alrighty guys, so that wraps it up. Those were seven of my favorite floor plans. That's a tongue twister. <laughs> favorite floor plans. All right, under, I'll throw another F in there. Under, or I guess in the $500,000 range, right? Most of those um, were under 550,000 with a couple of them, you know, being the 560s. So if you liked any of these and you wanna go see them in person, my contact information is down below. Please feel free to reach out. Like I said in the opening, all right? I work for you guys, the builders don't. All right, so you're not bugging me to go meet you at a property to go tour these properties with you and be on your side of the transaction, right? Because when, when things go sideways, right, and sometimes they do, you want someone that's fighting for you in your corner, and that's me. So my, like I said, my contact information is down below. Also do all the stuff, like, subscribe, tap that notification bell. That way you're getting updates on all the different videos that I'm posting. Uh, you know, this was a little bit of a different video. All right, you can see I've, I've been doing my work, you know, <laughs> out in the field, you know, um, on the concrete, you know, going and seeing different houses. All right, this is a little different because of this, the situation yesterday with those with those builders that didn't want me sharing the, the real info with you. All right, I don't even know if I was saying anything bad. All right, I actually went to it, went and looked at one. You know, super nice. I'm disappointed that I can't film it for you guys. All right, but if you want to know which one it was, call me. All right, it wasn't, it wasn't in here because I didn't film it. All right, and those houses were really nice. <laughs> all right, and yeah. Anyways, um, so do all the stuff. All right, hopefully I was able to provide you guys some value today. All right, uh, next week we'll be back with another regular video. I'll be out in the field again, um, filming up some new spots. But you know, if you want me to film certain areas, drop them in the comments, right? I you know, have an idea of things I want to film. You know, there's over 100 new build communities within 25 miles of where I'm sitting right now. I'm gonna go film the ones that will let me film them. All right, so, uh, but if there's a place you wanna see or a community you want me to go check out for you, drop them in the comments, shoot me a text, whatever, all right? I can, you know, work it around, you know, into my filming schedule to make it happen because like I said, I work for you. So anyways, all right, until the next time, all right, YouTube's gonna throw a video over this shoulder, over here. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna throw up uh, just the whole playlist of new builds right here over this shoulder, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks.